We're live. Hey guys. Welcome to Wicked Good Vintage. Welcome guys. I sent a bunch of people while I was waiting. I sent a whole bunch of people the link on Instagram. So I hope you guys get it. Um, I didn't even preview the sale. So literally everything is going to be a big old surprise. And Amy, I've even got some surprises that are going to make you go, what? <laughs> oh my God. I can't wait to see. I got to figure out. I'm not able to see the comments. That's so weird. That's not going to work. I haven't seen comments either. Is anybody here? There they are. There they are. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I had to go out and like, come back into the comments. Now they are. I, I'm okay. like, yeah, yeah. Am I in the twilight zone or something? Because maybe I did it wrong, you know, still a learning curve. All right. I'm going to put my room down so I can focus on okay. our I audience. Will, I will put my pitchfork down, you know, so we can play vintage for a bit. And I don't really, I'm just hoping not to break anything with the pitchfork. Like so. <laughs> same with my room. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey Kim. Hey Lauren. Hey Becky. Hey Michelle. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hi guys. Hi Lamar. Hi friend. Pumpkin dog. I love that name. Hey Lamar. Hey Gia. Super casual today, you guys. So I am in my tie dye. Got my little wicked good fun funs on. And uh, you're the tie dye <laughs> devil, yes, yes. All right, well, let's get started. Let's Welcome to out. Wicked Good Vintage. I am Amy with Amy's Rock and Pop Shop, and this is Sarah with Traveling Button. This is our weekly sale here on YouTube. We're super excited to be bringing, oh my gosh, Darlene. I'm so excited to see you here. You guys don't know Darlene, but she's a longtime friend, she's never been here before, so this is exciting. Um, anyway, this is our weekly sale on YouTube. We are excited to bring the best and vintage and handmade for you guys today. So if you are interested in claiming an item, we will show you the item and then you will type in, like say it's $10. So then you'll type in 10. And then if more than one person types in and claims, it turns into a live auction. So the way you pay is through PayPal. You do not need a PayPal account. You will receive an invoice. PayPal is simply a payment processor that securely accepts the payments on our behalf. And you would just click the pay button, enter your information securely, and that's it. So we will need for you to email us with your zip code and your email address. It should be the same email you're, you're sending it from, right? But just email us, let us know what you claimed, that way we can send you an invoice. We will be invoicing typically within 24 to 48 hours. Is that your timeline too, Sarah? Absolutely. I do have a clear sale tomorrow night on Instagram with David. So I probably won't send out invoices until Friday on okay. from this sale and tomorrow night on Instagram. So okay, Friday will be invoice day for me. And then I have another sale on Saturday. So. Perfect. And then we will be shipping within seven to 10 days. I do have my original assistant back on duty. So she's actually working on your orders from Sunday right now today. So hopefully th things are going to get turned around much quicker for me. Um, but we will keep the seven to 10 day timeline just in case. Um, so yeah, I'm shipping from California. Sarah's shipping from Colorado. And just remember that a claim is a promise to buy. So we do um, appreciate you guys being mindful of that because it does um, affect the experience for other people who might have been interested in the item. So yeah, anything else I missed, Sarah? I think that I, is it. if for some reason we don't see your bid or something, you know, just let us know because every once in a while things get filtered. But other than that, yeah, I think we're ready to roll. Amy, what about you? All right. Hey, Molly. Hey, John. Hey, Vicki. I think I'm ready. So you guys right? also, if I don't say hi to you, it's not because I'm ignoring you or mad at you or anything. It's just that I don't always see the, every comment because I'm focused on showing you the items and things. But I love you all and I appreciate you being here. Hey, Bridget. All right, Sarah. Are you going to kick it off or shall I? I can kick it off, girlfriend. I got this. So, kick it off. Oh, thank you guys for all the compliments. Y'all are so sweet. And we so appreciate you being here. And if you came over for Misty's sale, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you guys. Love our YouTube peeps. All right. This is my first item. 
And this is the cutest vintage piggy bank. I think it would make the sweetest gift. I'm going to start this little guy at $12. He's fully ceramic. Oh, my gosh. I love him. Isn't he cute? Look at his little flowers. Yes. And his eyelashes and his big eyes. They're so pretty. I know. I love his little face. He's just super sweet. And um, my friend Willie on Instagram has one of these that he calls belligerent bacon. So we <laughs> named her belligerent Belinda. So you have a opportunity to adopt belligerent Belinda today. FYI, she is missing her stopper. Okay. She is ceramic and she is oh so stinking cute. Look at her top with the bow and the leaves. And here's her little piggy slot. And then I love her little curly Q piggy tail. Absolutely darling. So 12. That's so oh, chunky. I know he is just a little chunk. And you can see like next to my head, he's about this big and he is heavy, nice ceramic. So again, this would make a fun gift for someone. And you could always find like a little cork stopper or something to replace the stopper if you wanted to use them. But I would just put him on display in your little piggies. Look at those lashes. Love, love his lashes, love his cheeky cheeks. He wants to be adopted so badly. So $12, if anyone is interested, he is super precious. And I love his little face and all of his markings. Yes, so $12 if anybody's interested. I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. I know we are. I'm getting ready for my big clearance sale with David tomorrow, so I cannot wait. All right. And I've got a double header today, you guys, with Enamor Amy on Instagram. So a couple hours after this sale, I'm going to be rainbow bright. I know. You're like, <laughs> you're like awesome. You're going to be a witchy now and rainbow bright later. So that's awesome. All right, guys. I don't see any interest, so we will keep it moving. And Amy, we are over to you. Oh, hey. So, yeah, I thought, am I crazy? And then I thought, no, because when I used to do kids' birthday parties, sometimes I was three different princesses in the same day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm totally used to changing makeup, exactly. changing hair, changing costumes. So <laughs> it's just been a while. Hey, Christy. All right. So let's see. What do we have up first? How about this cute little music box? Well, it's not a music box. It's a musical figurine. Um, and I totally spaced on putting the bit, starting bit and everything on the screen because I've been Instagramming, so I'll get with it. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're fine, girl. All right. So this is 1974, and it says Sandy Imports, New Jersey. We could see what it plays, but I don't know if you guys like that or not, so... Um, you can let me know if you're interested, but I'm going to start it off at $12. It is plastic, but it's super sweet and super groovy with these cute little seventies kids. No skipper. <laughs> and let me see, let me get with the, um, with the program here on StreamYard. starting bed, a little system here. Well, dollars. There we go. Awesome. Look how cute they are. He's got his little avocado colored sweater. And look, guys, he's holding a little flower behind his back. He's going to give to her. Maybe they're going to go steady. Oh, goodness. This reminds me of wedding photography. When we would shoot weddings, we used to put people kind of in that pose and we'd put them on either side of a door before they actually saw each other for the wedding and have them. Aww. Yeah. That's, that's, that's so, so cute. cute. And she's got her cute little seventies boots on. Yeah. I and love I, my boots. I'm like, girl, where'd you get your boots? And she's got her um, ribbed tights and he's got his really thick woolly sweater. And I love the blue and white and her big bow. Big girls are not just for cheerleading. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's right. But if no one is interested, that's okay. We will put it aside. We'll bring it back during the recap. And we oh, will go back to you, Sarah. Too, is the person that may want that item may not be here yet. And exactly. The recap, so. That's right, why we do the recap. This is my next item. This is not vintage. Okay. However, it looks so good with your vintage that... 
I actually had originally bought this for me and I have so many of these little face planters. I was like, I'm going to pass this on to some of my people. So $15 is the starting price on this little girl. She has sweet little freckles on her rosy cheeks and she has her little eyes. She's blushing and look at those eyebrows. She's drawn them on so sweetly. And look at her little outfit. It's polka dotted with a little ruffle all the way around. And her little outfit goes all the way to her backside. She has no issues whatsoever. And these are the cutest things, you guys, for plants. If you're a plant nerd like me, you would definitely want to put a little something cute in her head. And let um, let your plant grow. And then your plant is be right here. Yes. Oh, Molly, you've seen that before. That's cool. Yes, that was one of our shots. So $15. And she is, oh, so cute. Look at her rosy cheeks, you guys. And again, wouldn't this be cute with a plant in it next to one of your Amy's Rock and Pop Shop dollies? Cute. If you love this anthropomorphic look like I do, anything with a face is my jam. So I love it when I find these kinds of items. And like I said, I originally bought her for me, but I was like, I have so many. I need to just pass her on. So if anyone's interested, hi, Cat Room. Hi, Dave. Hi, you guys. Then we will definitely, um, $15 is what she's starting at if anyone's interested. I don't see any interest, and that is okay. We can bring her back later and we can move in. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. Hi, Catworm. Hi, Jay Wonders. Hi, guys. All right, let's see. What am I going to bring next? How about a candy corn witch? I'm starting her off at $28. This is one of my favorite little vintage witch heads. And she is one of the smaller witches. She has her blue eyeshadow, her ghoulish grin, and a couple of warts. She's dressed in this really glittery candy corn glitter. Little pieces of candy corn. She has her pet spider on the leash. The spider spins gold webs, I'm just saying. Ooh, he fancy. Yeah, he's got little rhinestone eyes. And she's trimmed in black. She's got a little pumpkin. I feel, I always feel like the light just washes everything out. There, that's a little better. So $28, if you are interested, she's about five and a half inches tall. Got her little web untangled there. So cute little spider, ghoulish little witch, side eye. I like her blue eyeshadow, especially because she's, she's a fancy witch. Like she's trying, she's putting her best foot forward. Yes, definitely. She wants to look, you know, she wants she wants to keep up her appearances. You can't blame her. I mean, she does have a spider that spins gold, so there's that. Right. <laughs> and she's been eating a lot of candy corn, which, um, <laughs> you know, makes me want to eat them, too. Right. Hey, Amy. And Hi. so I might just have to reach into my little candy corn bag and grab one. I love Jane. Her. I see you at 28. Thank you so much. Hi, Jane. Good to see you here, girly. Oh, she's scary, Molly. <laughs> she's not scary. I think she's like got that grin on, like, hey, what's up? This is just my costume. It's a real little lady under there. <laughs> no, it's really a witch, Sarah. <laughs> um don't tell Molly lies. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we're going to count it down. So if anyone else is interested, you can put in a just in case or you can put in your best offer. We're looking for 29 or more. Jane, if you're really interested, I would suggest putting in a just in case. Do it now so you don't come in after the bid end. And here we go. We're going to count it down from 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, she's cute, scary. Mm -hmm. One of a kind, handmade, vintage doll head. I see her just in case, Jane. Oh, we forgot to add, we forgot to name a bit ender. Amy, a name or Amy. Okay, Kim came in. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. All right, so who wants to volunteer to be our official bid ender? Let us know and we will go back to you, Sarah. Congratulations, Jane, and thank you so much. Yay. Hi, Picasso. Hi, Hi, guys. Thank you for being here. All right, my next item is super cool. This is a beautiful blown glass fish. Um, it has the pinched little tail and fins. I think in the fish world, we would call this an angel fish. But look at the fun little Murano glass cuties inside. I absolutely love it. I'm starting this at $14. And she is beautiful. Would look really good with your Murano glass collection. Uh, disclaimer, I do not know age on this, but it has no cracks, chips, or otherwise, and it was so beautiful. I literally just could not leave this little fishy behind. So $14, and look at the really pretty designs. They always look like little pieces of candy to me. You remember that candy that you get at Christmas? Like the mm, yes. Christmas they would make. It just always reminds me of that, and I actually collect um, several Murano pieces with this same style. And I have one of my grandma's, which is really special. So $14. If anyone is interested, I absolutely love this little fishy fun for a mermaid bath or just fun where you need a little pop of color and some shine. She's very bright, very pretty. I see you Joan for 14. Thank you so much. So we're looking for 15 or more. And look at that little pinched nose, so stinking cute. And I love how she looks from every angle. Here is her bottom side, nice and smooth. And Sienna, I see you for 16. Thank you so much. Or Shauna, actually. Shauna, you told me that last time and I remembered. You're Shauna. Okay, got you, girl. And we are looking for 17 or more, and I'm going to give this a countdown. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, looking for 17 or more. Jane, I see you at 16, 10, 9, 8, 7, looking for 17 or more to take the item. We already have one, two bids at 16, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Fishy is going to swim into your heart and I need a bid end. So pretty. Yeah. All right, Shauna's at 21, Jane's at 20. Thank you guys so much for your bid. And looking for that bid end, and we'll see what kind of lag we've got today. Honestly, I'm not sure. Fishy, fishy. Yeah, I love this little Murano glass pretties inside him. Isn't he cool? And there's my bid in from Kim. Thank you, love. So Shauna, this is yours for 21. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Yay. Yay. All right. Let's see. Up next, this is unmarked. It probably is not vintage, but it is really cute with a little gnome and toadstools. And someone added a little fluff ball to turn him into a Santa. He's a Santa. So, Santa. Yeah. Oh so I got this at Chris Kyer's Christmas Corner. And I'm going to start this at $15. It is very heavy. Um, it looks like, you know, it's made to go into your plant, but you can. Oh, totally. Yeah, you can use it for whatever you would like. You can put it in an assemblage or, you know, whatever. Whatever you can come up with. Stick them in your Christmas tree. He would work fine for that. Well, you know, I think too, like I always have my plants out, of course, during the holiday season. So I love to stick little embellishments in my plants anyway. And he would be perfect for Christmas. He's so cute because of the mushrooms. Yes. And the mushrooms are green. So he's totally set and ready for Christmas. I love him. 
Jane, I see you at 15. Thank you so much. And I like his little fluffy ball because he's not only a gnome, but he's Santa gnome. So yeah, he's, he's, not playing. he's a Santa gnome for sure. All right, guys, we're going to count it down. So if you are interested, go ahead and jump in at 16 or more. Put in a just in case. Jane, um, anyone else is welcome to do just in case as well. And we're going to count it down from 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for a bid end or 16 or more. Whoop, whoop. <clears throat> Thanks, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess the lag is kind of long, so that happens. Yep. Thank it you does. So Oh, <laughs> Carrie girl, good to see you. Good, Carrie. Carrie, you haven't written me back yet. Girl, write me back. <laughs> you know what's up. But there's no, no, there's no pressure on what I asked you, so just write me back. All right, girl. Jane, it's yours at 415. Thank you so much. Back to you, Sarah. All right, so you remember at the top of the sale when we first came on and I said, I haven't previewed anything and I've got some weirdness. Yeah. Right, I'm going to bring in the weirdness. Hi, mom. Thank you. So, okay. Here's my weirdness. Here's weirdness one. It's Halloween. <laughs> this is wicked good vintage. Let's do this. Oh, my goodness. This is weirdness two. So, this is Susie Ken. That is her name. She is a vintage meat skin head with blue eyes. And she's been in the rouge, ladies. Oh, uh, wow. This is her homie, Nanette. And I have uh, named her Nanette because I just really like her coral lips and her light blue eyes. I think she's I love her. it. Yes. These are creepy and fabulous. They are just heads. They are vintage uh, mannequin heads from, I would say, this one looks like 60s because it says... It is made in Japan, USA, England, France. And she does have <clears throat> some writing on her backside. Somebody got real crafty with her hair. Oh, my. Uh, oh, definitely. My. Yes, they shaved her hair up the back. And they definitely were, I would say, models that people practiced on to cut hair back in the day. And they both need some love. So I'm going to start these babes at 15 each. It's going to wow. be choice, okay? So you can choose Nan, uh, Susie, or you can choose Nanette. It's completely up to you. I know, Amy. David's not crazy about them. And, David, and no, I can't take everything that scares you, okay? I can't take them all. <laughs> Amy, you know you want these. I was laughing because I was like, I'm bringing these to my Wicked Good Vintage sale. These are so weird and crazy and creepy and they are fabulously vintage. So, like, if they you are something in a Halloween display, uh, a vintage, creepy Halloween display, I think they'd be super fun. Um, but you could also make them into dolls, have an Amy's Rock and Pop Shop moment. You never know. <laughs> Don't be tempting me to give them new hair. <laughs> oh, so 15, and you can choose Susie, or you can choose Nanette if you choose. And they are tempting. I really am partial to Susie's face. I like her features. I like her eyeshadow. I like her rouge. Are her and, are um, the whites of her eyes kind of metallic or iridescent? They yeah, she needs she could use some eye help. They, they look kind metallic. of silvery. They look kind of metallic. Yes. Yeah, she's staring into your soul. So yes, it's me and the heads over here. <laughs> Kim, I see you at 15. Thank you so much, Girly. Okay. Someone else, could you do our bid end? Yeah. Bidding. Amy, can you be our backup if Kim bids? Yes. And here's Nanette. I love you. So Nanette's got the eyes. We're going to count these down, guys. Looking for 16 or more for choice. You can take one or both. And here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, 
two and one. If I can get a bid in for my friends, just me and my weird little friends here. This is the kind of friends that I uh, obviously can keep. So. <laughs> All right, and let's see, you have three heads, uses them in Halloween display, exactly. That's why I grabbed them, because I was like, I know someone will want these. Um, and they are fabulous, and mm -hmm. they're really freaking cool. And if you look online, these go for quite a bit. I was kind of amazed. All right, there's my bid end. Thank you so much. Yes, Mom, I think they are beauty school styling mannequins. So, Kim, let me know, would you like one? Do you want um, Susie? Susie, or do you want Nanette? Nanette has a softer look. That's Susie funny, Mila. <laughs> and, or you may want both. So just let me know for sure. And uh, we'll keep Hold them up back. like this so we can pretend that you have three heads, Sarah. Okay. Oh, wait. wait. <laughs> we don't need to make out, Susie. Stop it. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that would be a cool costume. <laughs> Okay, Kim wants them both. They are yours, girlfriend. Thank you so much. Have fun. Send me pics with what you do with them. Okay. All right. Up next, I am going to bring. Oh, it looks like Susie's shedding. I've got mannequin hair on my. <laughs> <laughs> One of my. Disclaimer, Susie may be shedding. Okay. Oh, my goodness. She'll need a new head of hair. <laughs> okay, so here is a one-of-a-kind cone doll. It is a snowman. I'm starting him at $50. It's really hard to find snowman heads. This one in particular is made in Japan, still has this little tag. You can hang him for like, if you have a big tree, hang him on the tree. He still has his hanger. And then he's dressed in very sparkly white snowy glitter print he's got fluffy trim to kind of look like the snow at the bottom just piling up red and white <coughs> sparkly black buttons and <laughs> thank you a christmas tree light reflector collar his scarf is original to him as are his little earmuffs and hat everything from the scarf up is original um, he's really cute. He is a satin ball ornament, and now he has a snowman's body. So I like his little earmuffs made out of the little pipe cleaners. Like, right? Aren't they so cute? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give him a little measurement. So he stands at about twelve and a half inches tall. As long as she doesn't have lice, right? <laughs> yeah, no lice. We're in Colorado. We don't we don't mess with that kind of thing. But what's funny is I didn't know Kim made hair wraps, so you should send me pictures, Kim. Perfect. Well, yeah. Those, good headband, so. those would be so fun to model them. Get them some wigs, some proper wigs, yeah. and then they will be awesome. Super cute. Molly, I see you at 50. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So if anyone else is interested, you can come in at 51 or more. I Thank you guys all for tuning in. We're at 62 viewers now. Oh, yay. He is very much one of a kind. Like I, I said. I white glitter. It's so iridescent and pretty. Yes. The snowman heads are very hard to come by. So I only, I don't know. I think I only had one last season and this might be my only one this season. I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and count it down. Um, drop your just in case. Hey, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Drop your just in cases or your best offers during the countdown. Don't wait. Do it now, even before I start counting down. So you don't come in after the bit end. I know I keep saying it, but I know you guys are always sad when it happens. Hey, Lois. So one of a kind. Lois. Here he goes. Looking for 51 <laughs> or more. And we're going to start the countdown at 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end. He's 12 and a half inches tall. He's wonderful. Darling. 
Looks like he might be going to Molly. We'll see. It's a terrible lag today. Thanks for your patience, guys. <clears throat> There's the bin in. So congratulations, Molly. He's coming to your house. Yay. He's so happy. He heard all about your house and all the friends he's going to get to see. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have a lot of friends. Oh, I love it. All right. Back to you, Sarah. Okie dokie, guys. This is my next item. And it is adorable. I found this recently. And look how stinking cute. I have the white one like that. Do you really? Yes. I didn't even know there was a white one like this. That's awesome. So what do you call this coloring on kitties when they're orange like this? Oh, I don't know. It's like enamor Amy's queso. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. How cute. It is the same planner that you have. So I'm just starting this at $12, guys. It is Napco. So we've got our original foil tag on the bottom, and it is numbered. And it is in really good shape. They have cute little green eyes, each one of them. And I don't see any issues with this. There is some glue, I noticed, that is over here, which can be peeled off. I just haven't. But otherwise, um, there is a tiny, oh, you know what? I just noticed there is a tiny hairline right here on the back side. All right. So I want to make sure you guys know that there's a hairline. And I am starting this cutie at 12 bucks. Abby's maybe. Yes. So Lois is at 12. Kelly's at 15. Pumpkin Dog's at 13. Lois is at 16. Thank you guys so much for your bid. And we're going to do a quick countdown on Kitty Biscuit Planter. Absolutely darling. It is Napco. Yeah, I think you guys are right. It is a ginger. Yeah, ginger kitty. That's so cool. And Amy got the white one from Enamor Amy, who has a kitty that looks just like this name, Queso. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So Pumpkin Dog's in at 17, and I'm going to do a countdown from 15. Looking for 18 or more. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one if i can get a bit in guys and pumpkin dogs at 20 thank you so much oh you rescue in la that's so cool very cool mila and let's see lois has a 24 just in case so now we're just looking for our bid end. Thank you guys so much, cutie pie. And Twitch rescued. Him. Thank you so much, guys. All right. So, Lois, this is yours for 21. Yay. Yay. Which rescue do you work with, Mila? Okay, because I am an LA too. All right. Let's see. What am I going to bring next? Okay. All right, so next up is this litho on article board published for Socorro Soroka sales. Sirico, I bet. Now. Yep. It, oh, snap, it's a big eye. Oh, I love this one. It's starting at $30. She's got a parrot on her shoulder. Where is Julie, right? <laughs> I know, guys. Oh, Julie would love this. 18 second lag. Thanks, Kim. I knew it was kind of poopy. She is just stunning. Stunning. She is hanging out in the forest with a parrot, you know, um, which is very kind of magical. I love her. She actually matches some of my big eyes that I have hanging in the family room. Oh yeah. Got on that little Harlequin shirt. Yes. Oh my God. She is so cute. And the hood. Is that like a little hood or a hat? She's like a witch. Let me see. It, it looks like it's a hoodie. Like her shirt is a hoodie. That is it's a vintage cool. hoodie. Who knew they had vintage hoodies? Wow. I love her. And she's kind of like, a little feminist vibe before her time. She's got yeah. pants on. She's like, this is my bird. I don't need a man. Yeah. yeah like <laughs> she's totally her. confident for sure. Yeah. And um, I'm going to give her a measure here. And she does have the hole in the back to hang it. So let's see. She is 20 inches long by eight 
by eight inches wide. So 20 by eight, that's a nice size. That's, I think that's the same size mine are, Amy. Yeah, really cute. And what's fun about these is you don't need to frame them or anything. They're already ready to hang like they are. Yeah. So it's just ready to throw on the wall. But what would also be cute is you could like lean it up on a shelf and then put things in front of it with her. Like, I think she would look dreamy with some kitschy figurines. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But if no one is interested today, that's okay. And as always, if you are watching on the replay and you see something that did not get claimed, be sure to let us know in the comments if you're interested. Yay. All right, Sarah, back to you. Okie dokie. So I've got a piece of glass and it is the weirdest. Okay, before I show you this, it is the weirdest piece of glass I've ever found, you guys. So weird. I don't even know. Some of you probably will and you can tell me. So this is such an interesting piece and I'm going to tell you why. Yes, it is vintage green hobnail. It is a swung glass vase, but look inside it. Do you see what's happened in the firing process? This was meant to be an opalescent vase and it looks like we've got a hunk of white glass and then another hunk of light green glass that they were going to pull up and it stopped right here. That is glass. And it almost looks like slag glass down inside it, but it never got pulled up into any opalescence. It's just down in there. Isn't that bizarre? I am starting this at $20. I do not know a brand. At first when I found it, I was like, oh, this is definitely Fenton. But the more I've looked at it, it is some kind of vintage art glass. And I really believe they were going for the opalescent thing with that slag glass down in there. Isn't it odd? So let me tell you how big this is so you know exactly what you're getting. And I do not know where my tape measure is. Oh, you know what? My husband has it because he's shipping. <laughs> so hubby's got the tape measure. Um, I'm going to guesstimate it's right at 12 inches. It's a nice size. Um, oh, Ruthie, I'm so glad you're here, girly, and I'm glad your surgery went well. We are so happy to see you. So glad to hear that. Where were you starting it out, Sarah? 20. I, I didn't hear you. Okay. You're fine, hun. 20. Yeah, starting bit at 20, and let me give you a size on this. Yeah, we are right at, with the tallest finger here, we're right at 12 inches, and it does not have any issues, okay? We don't have any chips or cracks or anything. It is the weirdest swung glass vase I have ever found. I'll probably never find another one quite like this. And yeah, I am really kind of, kind of smitten with it. It's real weird. And look at the fun mouth on this. We've got one, two, three, four little swung pulled places. And then you can see the hobnail, how it was also swung up towards the top. I just love that. Lois, I see you at 20. We're looking for 21 or more. Very unique vintage swung glass vase. He is a prickly little fellow. You're right. Kind of reminds you of a little cacti or a cucumber. And I love this avocado green. Let me show you with white behind it, what you're looking at. So it's a really vibrant, gorgeous green. Yeah, completely one of a kind. That's what I thought too, Ruthie, with how that yummy white was squirted down in there and then the light green. And then they never actually pulled it up. It's just so interesting. Possibly the company let the bad ones be bought by employees at a discount or employees smuggled it out. You know what? That is a really interesting point, Sherry. Because also, I feel like this one had some bubbles right here that maybe you wouldn't have put in, you know, a, a showpiece. And this was an odd guy. He was a little odd duck that was left out. So let's count him down. We're at 20. Counting down from 15, looking for 21 or more. Really great price on this beautiful, interesting art glass, swung glass vase. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. If I can get a bit in or 21 or more. Really interesting piece. I'm kind of excited about it. And I was thinking, you know, if this guy doesn't sell because he's such a little weirdo, 
I'll keep him for myself because he's pretty cool. So Lois, you've got a just in case of 28. I see you, girl. And we have a gnarly lag. So thanks for sticking with us. There is my bid. And Lois, it's yours for 20, girlfriend. Enjoy. Yay. Where you put this guy. Thank you. Okay. All right, Amy girl, what you got for us? So next up, I have some Fire King. I was already prepared and didn't realize it. All right. Starting at $20, it does not have a lid, but it has these really fun colors and shapes, all the MCM goodness. That's really cool. I love this pattern. And so this $20 to start. And this one's heavy. Heavy. So it's called Blue Heaven Collector. Blue Heaven. Yep. Eight and a half. So it measures eight and a half across if you are measuring handle to handle. And I'm just going to look it over really well. I don't see any chips or cracks. It looks like it's in really good condition. I like the color, that aqua. Yeah, Amy, um, Enamor Amy collects that aqua in her kitchen. And it is such an iconic mid-century pattern with those stars and those little weird abstract designs. I absolutely love Blue Heaven. I love it too. And yeah, I just I love it. it. I, really <laughs> it. I just got to know it, but I love it. Yeah. It's a good one to collect. And Fire King made a whole bunch of Oh, gosh, there's all kinds of pieces that go with this. Yeah. Amy, does your mom still have hers in Amor, Amy? I bet she does. So $20 to start if anyone is interested. It's really pretty. And if not... I don't know. I might start my collection with it. I might keep it. That's what I was going to say. If you had to be stuck with one, that's a pretty cool one to be stuck with. So, Yeah, like now I'm like, hmm, maybe I should keep it. So I'm going to put it aside for now. And we will go back to you, Sarah. All right. I'm going to do choice for my next thing. All right. And this is going to be just a quick claim, guys. We don't need oh. to get this out. Sorry. I guess I guess I'm not kidding. I guess it's not going to be mine. So that's okay. Gosh darn it. I had already set my heart on it. No, I'm just kidding. That's fine. Um, Jenny, I see you at 20. So let's go ahead and do a quick countdown. If anyone else is interested, you can come in during the countdown with a just in case or a best offer. Jenny, you might want to put in a just in case now so that you can protect your bid. And we are going to count down looking for 21 or more. And we will start at 19, 18. Fire King, Blue Heaven, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Hey, Stephanie. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I see you're just in case, Jenny, of 24. Thank you so much for looking for the bid end. Amy's mom sold them in a garage sale in the 90s. Oh, my God, Amy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Girl, I'd be like, no, Mom. No. Very nice. Yeah, so I like this. Like, Jenny. Like upside down guitars. I don't know. Yes, right? And these, this little thing over here looks like a little chair right yeah. here. All right. Well, congratulations, Jenny. Be sure to send me your information. You can find our email addresses in the description of the video. Yes. All right. Back to you, Sarah. And she's going to start her collection of Blue Heaven. So congrats, Jenny. That's fun. Yay. All right, you guys. So these are choice. Okay. I'm going to do quick claims once I give you a price. If you just let me know which one you want. The first person that I see, once I give you the price, you'll get these. Okay. This is going to be choice. You're going to get this kitschy vintage Royal Norfolk made in China, Greenbrier International mug. He is adorable. He does have a little bit of paint loss right there. Okay. Or you can have this cutie pie vintage blow mold flashlight. It works and takes D batteries. That's how you know it's old. And um, when I give you the price, I want you to just write which one you want. 
Okay, so $10, first person I see can take the blow mold flashlight or the vintage pumpkin mug. So cute. Yes, choice for $10 each, just a straight claim. Just a claim, so, sorry about that. You're fine. I messed up. No worries. I almost put myself in a timeout. Whoops. <laughs> and using timeout. <laughs> no, I didn't click it. I, I, I tried to delete it and then I was like, block user. No, I can block myself. <laughs> okay, which one do you want, Lois? Lois, do you want the flashlight or the mug or both? Fun little Halloween decor. Oh, and FYI, the flashlight does work. Okay, it works. I just don't have the batteries in here because they're super clean. Ah. Cute blow mold or mug. So Lois, let me know if you want one or both and we'll just keep the same name. Okay, Lois wants the flashlight. And if anybody wanted to claim the mug, 10 bucks and it is yours. Okay. okay. All right, girly. All right, so next up I have this really cute Joseph's Originals Santa Bell. Oh, Still has this sticker. This is not paint loss, it's just um, sticky tag so you can get that off pretty easily. But he is in really good condition. His cold paint looks amazing. And I'm going to start him off at $15. Oh, that's a good deal for Joseph Originals. Look at his face. Ugh. And his metallic gold on his bell is still all intact. Super shiny. He's really cute. Oh, he is super dang cute. Anything that um, Joseph made for Christmas, the elves that go with the Santa, if you guys are collectors, oh my gosh, the elves that go with the Santa are so cute. Oh my gosh, I'll have to look for them. They are precious. I love them. I used to have some and then I sold them. And then I started my elf and deer display and I wish I wouldn't have sold them. Lois, I see you at 15. MJ Bear at 16. Carrie at 17. Thank you guys so much for your bids. He is just precious, right? I know, Amy. I love him too. And I have been collecting the Bible bobbleheads, the Joseph original bobbleheads. So if you guys ever get a lead on those, tag me. I see you at 18, Lois. Thank you so much. So we're going to go ahead and start a countdown. We are looking for 19 or more. So drop your best offers and or your just in cases, do it now so you don't get caught up in the lag. Here we go. I agree, Cindy. Looking for 19 or more. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end Cute. or 19 or more. We're going to stab the bid in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lois, I see you're just in case of 22. Carrie has come in at 20. We're looking for a bid end. And there's the bid end. So this is going to Lois for 21. Thank you all so much for your bids. Congratulations, Lois. Back to you, Sarah. Awesome. All right, you guys, this is so pretty. This is a piece of Westmoreland Doric lace. Um, FYI, I'm going to start this at $10, and I'm going to tell you why. So when I got it home from where I bought it, there was, you see it? It's like a little hairline through the bottom. Mm. However, it does not translate through the piece. It's literally just on the bottom. So I was ticked. Because they put the tag, this my locally we have a place that's famous for this. They put the tag over the boogered up spot. So I was so irritated when I got home. So I'm only gonna start this at ten dollars. It is Westmoreland. It is pink satin glass. This is a sweet little bowl, and honestly, I think this would be perfect for a plant. Um, when I picked it up, that's kind of what I thought about it. I was like, well, maybe this is a a little planner. Um, but otherwise, it's in great shape. So it does have this little bottom snafu that they covered with a sticker when I bought it. Otherwise, probably wouldn't have picked it up. 
Um, however, I feel like the piece itself structurally is awesome and it's really beautiful. And I love vintage pink glass. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and bring it to you guys and let you know the deal. Yeah, it, exactly. Amy, strategic tag placement. So frustrating. Tree. But um, look at his little feet, too. I think his feet are cool. Yes, I agree, Lois. Still pretty, perfect for display, um, and still has life in her. So it's not like we would ever throw this piece out. But yeah, the little boogers at the thrift decided to uh, stick a sticker over it. So, all right, guys, I'm going to count it down. MJ's at 12. Thanks so much for the bids. Looking for 13 or more. And we're going to count down from 15, 14. Yeah, I love pink satin glass too. It's timeless. 13, 12, 11, 10 with silver balls for Christmas. So pretty. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If I can get a bid end or 13 or more. No, Cindy, I do too. I definitely love Lois has a just in case of 15. Thank you so much, Lois. Yeah, it's so soft. Love that yummy finish. And I really am pretty partial to the Doric lace as well. I sold another piece of Westmoreland Doric lace about a month ago, and it was gorgeous. It was big. All right, there's my bid end. Lois, this is yours. Thank you so much for 13. Yay. And we're back to you, Amy. All right. Up next, I have a reimagined pose doll. I'm going to be starting her at 65. I actually bought this doll last year from... A seller, I think it was an ISN seller when I first started watching um, and crafting. And I just now have gotten around to reimagining her. So it's exciting. So let's talk about her. Here she is. Oh, now her, her dear does. slightly pixelated right now, girlfriend. I think it's StreamYard. Oh, yeah, because on my end, I can't see that. Dang it. So. Gosh darn it. Oh, do I look pixelated to everybody? Let us know, guys, if Ames pixelated, please. David said yes. Mm, I don't know how to deal with that with StreamYard. Like, I'm afraid if I remove myself, it might. I don't know. Maybe it's still, hap it's still in there. I don't know. I'll try it. Okay. We will see. Hello. It's just me. And there she's back. Um, it's coming in. It's coming in. It's dialing in. You're getting better. Okay. Well, Molly, she trusts, she trusts me. So she's in at 65. I Thank love you, Molly. this creation, Amy. This is painful to watch this one go. But I'm so sad if it's pixelated. I am too, because this one you like need to see the detail on because it's um, awesome. Okay. Amy said it's better. Good. Okay. Better. Everybody says better. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank God. All right. So Cindy, I see you at 68, Molly at 70. So I will catch up on the bids after I finish talking about her. So the deer is not permanently fixed into her arms. So you can take the deer out. You can display it separately, whatever you would like to do with this vintage, very cool very deer, good. very MCM. I added the rhinestones. The rhinestones in her eyes, however, are original to the doll which I felt was very cool because it's green. She had a green headband, but I added the big green ribbon bow so that it would be even more Christmassy. This is a vintage corsage. Everything about it is the original assemblage except for the bow I changed out because it was orange and it was all faded out. Um, I added the cute little gold stars. I added oh, the white gosh. for trim. I also added the gold, I mean, sorry, the silver tinsel. Um, let's see what else. Her little shoes. I added the fur and the tinsel trim. And if you balance her just right, she can stand on her own. Her legs are fully posable. Everything about her is fully posable. Oh, my God. So, like I said, if you balance her just right, she can stand on her own because her little feet are flat and wooden. Precious. Oh, good Let so me precious. give her a measurement and then we'll get caught up on the bids. I'm going to lie her down. 
but she originally had a black bow and like a Peter Pan collar that was really oversized and weird. A black bow on her dress, but she needed to be Christmas with these green eyes, right? Yeah. And I, I totally forgot what her measurement was. <laughs> I just measured her and then it went out of my mind. 13 inches tall. All right. So let's see where we're at. We have Cindy at 75, Molly at 80. Thank you guys so much. David is in at 81. Thank you. Cindy at 82. David at 85. And thank you all so much for saying that she is gorgeous. Thank you. And I love this little corsage. I think I might have even gotten it at Chris Kyer's last week. So let's go ahead and start a countdown, you guys. Drop your best offers and or your just in cases for the special little girl. I just love how she has the wooden shoes and she stands without a base. She's so funny. She's just so fabulous. Yes, thank you. All right, guys, let's count it down. Looking for 86 or more. And here we go. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Good Resurrected. Thank you, Lois. Uh, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for a bid end. I see you at 90, Molly. Thank you so much. Cindy has a just in case of 98. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sarah and David. It's okay, girl. I love her so much. Molly, uh, you got good competition with Cindy. So, Cindy, congratulations. She is yours for 91. Thank you all so much for your bids. It truly means so much to me. She's and thank you. You guys. And well, never, well, ever well. be afraid to bid against me or David ever, 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 because that's the name of the game. That's where right. It so congratulations, <laughs> you guys. Yay, thank you. <laughs> Aw. Well, we'll have good pictures for you, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to frame them at Christmas. Okay, Amy. I guess that's okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. So here's my next item. And we're sticking with some Joseph Originals because they're precious. This is the Joseph Originals seal. He's a little brown guy. Look at those eyes. Who could say no to that face? And this is the bunny. And I'm going to do choice on these. I'm starting them at $12. So whoever wins can take one or both. Cindy, I love you too, girlfriend. Don't you even worry about it. Don't give it a second thought. I'm glad you're here. Is it a bid or a straight claim of choice? Um, I was going to do bid if you want them. They're 12. And then the winning bid can choose the bunny or the seal. I will tell you, the bunny's got a little tiny nick off the top of his ear, but it's not really a deal breaker. Like you can see him back here and he's okay. But I wanted to let you know. So $12. These are Joseph Originals. They do not have their Joseph Original tags, but they are Joseph's. So there's Lois at 12. Thank you so much. Absolutely adorable. Just so darn cute. And then there's this little guy. So I'm going to count them down and we're looking for 13 or more for choice. And you can choose the bunny or the seal. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If I can get a bid end or 13 or more. These little cuties. Kisses. Yeah, I love them. I am, anytime I find these, I snag them because I just think they're the cutest things ever. I love their little eyes. And they made their eyes out of glass. And it makes it look so real because you've got the little black pupil. And then you've got like little brown eyes on these babies. Just darling. There's my bid in. Cindy has the bunny. Yep. Precious. All right. So Lois, do you want bunny? Whoops, bunny. <laughs> or do you want seal? Or would you like both? Just let me know in the comments. Then we'll keep going. All right. Let's see what am I going to bring next. Okay, so this next item 
is a vintage Santa. I'm starting him at $24. He came from Chris Kyers. And check him oh, out. Wow. He's a gold Santa. He's old. He's got blue eyes. And I love when the Santas have the white boots. He's also got white velvet pants. And it's like a gold lame Santa coat. Oh, wow. And he does have a hanger. So you can hang him if you'd like. I will tell you, he reminds me so much of the Harold Gale Santas, especially with his outfits in the in the boots. I have my Mimi's um, red one, and he really reminds me of a lot of those, but smaller. I'm wondering if he is. I feel like, well, when I was grabbing stuff, I remember Chris mentioning something about Harold Gale and all of my grabbing and I wasn't sure which Santa I had grabbed that was so maybe it was this one I believe he is here you know what I'm going to google him really quick now that I've looked at him closely his but look he's the perfect size to go with this doll I'm just saying oh my god he's 13 inches tall as well his legs are not jointed is that a t is that something that reveals whether no, or not he's no, no legs aren't i have four of them okay. of my own and their legs are not jointed they're stiff and they stick down in the boots and he stands okay and mj i see you oh, oh, oh wait a second it was supposed to be starting at 24 did i put in the wrong thing no no you put in 24. okay yeah sorry okay. it's starting at 24 you guys Amy. Hey, Lori and Jackie. I looked him up. Officially, he is Harold Gale. He okay, is. great. Okay, so he's Harold Gale, you guys. All right, that's a steal. FYI, I don't know if you got, like, Google Harold Gale. Like, this is actually a very good deal for this particular Santa. And he's in the gold lame. Um, and he's got his original belt and boots. Gosh, and he still crazy. has his pins. See his little yeah, pins in there. Oh, that's yeah. I'm like, no, Sarah, don't buy any more Christmas. Oh my God, I really like him though. Ooh. And he's the smaller um, ornament hanger, Harold Gale. So I Googled because I didn't know Harold Gale made ornaments. This is a Harold Gale ornament. Who knew? Wow. Who knew? So $24 is a steal. Mm hmm. He's super happy. He's spinning. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and start the countdown. So drop your best offers and or your just in cases. Um, Kim is bidding. So Amy, if you can do our bid in for us. And let's start. We're looking for 26 or more. MJ's at 26. Okay. All right, guys, put in best offers or just in cases because I'm going to start the countdown and then I don't want you to come in after the bid end. So here we go. He's worth like 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for a bid end or 28 or more. Kim, I see you're just in case of 55. Thank you so much. And there is, ooh, MJ with a just in case of 56. And then Kim with 65 just in case. So thank you all so much for your bids. Congratulations, Kim. He is yours for 57. Thank you so Great much. Deal. Yep, that's what he's worth. He's amazing. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, let's go back around this way with some glass. This is actually a Noctman crystal vase that I found out and about. Could not believe it. And look at this really pretty, I don't know what you call the pattern, but it almost reminds me of like the optic dots. It's just so gorgeous. And this is a small bud vase. I'm starting this at $12. And this is Vintage Nachman, for those of you that are collectors. It is a beautiful piece. It does not have any issues. 
and look at the yummy star on the bottom. Love it. Just gorgeous. It is right about, I'm going to say this is probably right at four inches. Yep. Four inches tall and the diameter across the top is three inches. So it really is perfect for a bud vase. But think about for Christmas too with a little bottle brush tree in it or even just one mercury glass ball. Like so pretty to set with your Christmas decor. And I love that cranberry glass crystal. That is so gorgeous. I love Hi, that. guys. It's so good to see you. Thank what you was your starting bid again? $12. So $12 on this pretty little piece. And look at that yummy edge, too. When you look at it like this. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is Noctin. And it is stunning. I think it would be so pretty with a little something coming out of it. Lois, I see you at 12. Thank you so much. Looking for 13 or more. And it is beautiful. Look at that edge. Yeah, it's a really pretty piece. So I'm going to start a countdown on this little beauty. Let me show you against white also how he looks. Look at that. Just stands out fabulously. All right, so here we go. Counting down from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So sparkly and shiny and pretty. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If I can get a bid end or 13 or more on this Knockman little crystal bud vase. Really a sweet little piece. Especially for those of you that collect. Love it for Christmas time. Lois has an 18 just in case. And girly, you're going to take it at 12. So congratulations. Thank you. I'm making your box, Lois. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is going to start off at $24. There is there is quite a bit of crazing. I mean, it's like the crazing is very, um, I, I'm just going to use the word severe, you know, like it's very defined and big. So just keep that in mind. It has made in Taiwan on the bottom. Let me get the light out of here. Oh my gosh. That's cute. So let me try to see if we can show the crazing. Of course, it doesn't want to show up on camera, but when I say it's severe, it's like big, chunky, crazy, not faint. I like crazy, though, on my pieces because I feel like it lends credibility to the age. Right. So crazy never bothers me because it's just part of the glaze, you know, when it ages. And there is a little chip on the foot right here. Um, but other than that, I think it looks really good. So these cute little sweet kitties with the flowers. $24. Beautiful. Brown and pink and cream and the green. Really cute. Let's give it a measurement here. So it's about eight inches tall. Those are adorable. And again, not too early to start thinking about Christmas. Um, cause I really feel like Christmas shopping has begun. I already bought my first present for someone this week. So <laughs> I like the little flowers that have been airbrushed so sweetly on them. It reminds me of Norcross Cities and that same mold that they used look, looks very similar. Really, really Hi, vintage kissed. Yes, the crazing does give it more character. I really love it on this. I've never seen it chunky like this. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. But if no one is interested in this right now, that's okay. We will put it aside. Oh, Lois is in at 24. Okay, sorry. That freaking lag. <laughs> My light has changed in here too. It's like, it's like, it's like bugging me today. Is when, it, when it's not... I mean, when it's daylight, it's weird, you know, because you can't really get the benefit of the light. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, all right. Count. So we're going to count it down. We're at 24, looking for 25 or more, or uh, your best off. Oh, yeah, whatever. You guys know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only my first sale of the day. So here we go. Put in your best offer or your just in case, freaking light. And here we go. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for the bid end or 25 or more. We've got 76 viewers. Thank you guys so much. Awesome. Thank you guys for being here. It means so much to me and Amy. Thank you. Yeah, Cindy said the lag is real today, and she's not kidding. Like, poop lag, you guys. I'm so sorry. Must be a lot of people are on the interwebs. Well, I feel like the lag is always a thing. You know, it's like, it's a really big lag today. And it's like, well, wasn't it last time, too? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I always make it seem like it. Sometimes it's a little better, but today's a little rough. Good Lord. It's really rough. This has been over like 30 seconds. I know. Where's our bid end? Oh, you know what? Kim had, Kim had to go do something. So Amy, oh, if you can bid in this. I missed that. All right. Well, then I'm just going to call it bid end. There we go. Okay, oh, we're stepped in. okay. So Amy, let us know if you're able to bid in for us. Otherwise, if someone else can step up and volunteer, let us know. All right. Well, Lois, thank you so much. Congratulations. And we are back to you, Sarah. Okie dokie. All right, y'all. This is super flipping cool. This is a Hazel Atlas grease jar. And it has that really fun Art Nouveau mod tin lid and it's got the tulips with the little stripes and then this is the grease jar part in milk glass it is in excellent shape i'm starting this at twenty dollars there's no chips or cracks or otherwise funkiness and this is a really fun piece to add to your kitchen collection so if you collect any of the hazel atlas <laughs> shakers in this style or even the fire king tulip bowls that go with this um great addition to your kitchen it is a stunner and twenty dollars guys it's so cool i absolutely love it of course you've got a little bit of paint loss on the top and i think it's also worth mentioning that people saved their grease once upon a time and all of our i remember that homes, put it in a grease jar and reused it. And sometimes your grease would taste a little funny on the next yeah. round. You know what I'm no, saying? I don't like all it. Of, yeah, all the fish sticks taste slightly like fried donuts or something. Yeah. So <laughs> grease jars are a hoot of a concept to me at this point in my life. Um, and I think it is a neat old relic. It is Hazel Atlas and it's a beautiful piece. This is a great price also for it. This is the nice medium sized jar as well. If you wanted to use this jar for something else, by you know, certainly you could, but I think it's perfect for your kitchen. So if anybody's interested, $20, it is Hazel Atlas. It is very old and it is so cool. Yes, yeah, Cindy, I agree. The grease jars are gnarly. Um, I think David cool. still may have one actually. Sometimes they didn't even have a lid, let's be honest. So they yeah, collected whatever. Yeah, it was just open with the funky grease in it. But the grease just, you know, oh, when it heats up, it kills everything. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> Guys, <laughs> and Amber, I know how you are too about your right. Stuff, right? Like, it's a foreign concept to me at this point in my life, but I think that it is, yeah, bacon grease veggies, you can't beat it. So, if anybody's interested, 20 bucks. If not, that's okay. We'll keep it moving. Okay, Enamor Amy is our official bid ender now. So, for our Instagrammers who are not as savvy with YouTube, we only have an official bid ender, one, one person. So, and Amber Amy will be that one person now that thank Kim you. has had to step away. And thank you so much, Amy, for volunteering. And let's see what I have up next. Up next, we are starting this little beauty off at $24. It is a Lefton Christmas Angel. Wow. She is in green 
with some red trim. There is tiny bits of paint loss to the red trim around the bottom. I'm gonna check her out really good here. Her wings are still intact. Cute. Jenny, um, Amy's shipping from California and I'm shipping from Colorado. Thank you. So we are starting her off at $24. Precious. I love Left In. Like their stuff is just so good. It's always so good. It's my favorite to collect. If I'm really honest, like most of my ceramics are Left In. I love her colors. They're so traditional with the deep green and the red and her the style of her dress. It's just so sweet. And those little wings with that speckled mid-century look. Uh, and she's numbered. Yeah. Okay, you've got a blend. Thank you, Jane. I see you at 24. Fair enough, Jenny. And as you guys probably already know, you know, the, the rates have increased um, with the post office. So don't be alarmed if, you know, the shipping is a little more than you're anticipating. But we all do try to get your best rates. Yep, we use discounted shipping, but nevertheless, the discounted shipping also went up because of USPS hike. And they do this every year at the holidays. So it's pretty common. We're used to it. Just stinks. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to count her down. So, Jane, if you want to put in a just in case, you should if you really want her. Anyone else can come in during the countdown with a just in case or a best offer. And here we go. Looking for 25 or more, 19, 18, 17, left in, numbered, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I see you're just in case, Jane. Thank you so much. And we are just looking for the bid end. 73 days until Christmas. Oh my gosh, day. don't even say that. Lori, you are killing me, girl. No, oh Lori. I don't, <laughs> so, I don't want to know. I don't know. I was just there. There's our, there's our bid end. So congratulations and thank you so much, Jane. This little cutie from Chris Kyer's collection is coming to your house. And if you guys have not already watched my video touring Chris Kyer's Christmas Corner. Be sure to check it out. It's on my channel. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to Sarah's YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram if you're into Instagram. All of that information is right here in the video description. If you just click the little arrow, it will drop down. All right, back to you, Sarah. Awesome. All right, you guys. The next item, and it's not going to be much to ship. This is a vintage enamel brooch in red, white, and blue really pretty for Christmas, really pretty for summer. It is in awesome shape. The back would also let you, feasibly you could put a chain around this piece and turn it into a necklace if you wanted to, but it is in <clears throat> shape. And I'm just starting them at $12. It's pretty big too. Let me measure it for you so you can know what you're looking at here. Let me see here. It is right at like three and a half inches from here to here. So it's a pretty good sized one. You've got just a smidgen of a little scratch right there. But otherwise, it's awesome. I love these two for an accent piece. You could also put it on a hairband and wear it in your hair, wear it as a necklace, or, you know, just as a brooch on a sweater, or a cute cardigan, either way. But yeah, I love these big statement brooches. And they're fun to craft with too. I used I've to seen people put them on a chain too and wear them as a necklace. Absolutely. And you could do that because it's got that type of back. So you mm -hmm. could slide a chain around this and it would be really easy. Oh, Lois is in Montgomery. No kidding. That's awesome. A fellow Southerner. You guys have had some flooding. I have another friend in... Um, Where's Amy Wildflower? She's in Mobile and uh, that area. And yes, it is that you guys have had some 
serious weather lately. So $12, yes. If anybody is interested, you can put it on an on it. I was going to say on a napkin, you put it on a necklace <laughs> <laughs> or a napkin. Um, I probably wear it in my hair because I like that kind of thing. Love um, it. Yeah. Or a sweater, whatever you want to do with it. Really pretty. So I don't see any interest. That is okay. We will bring it back for the recap. $12. If anybody wants to snag this little guy. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. What I have next. Up Maybe next. Yeah. yeah, I do too. Okay, cool. Okay, so up next I have this vintage plush Amy. Santa. Jennifer just got oh, yeah. for 12. Go Jennifer, this is yours. I don't see any other interest, sweetie. So I'm going to just give this to you for 12. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's so funny. I clicked on her comment when I meant to click on my starting bid, so it all worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So this little guy is going to start at $15. He is not from Chris Kyers. I got him actually at a flea market locally. So $15 to start on this little vintage cutie. Isn't he so sweet? I love his mouth. He's like, what's up? I've eaten too many cookies. He's so bright red. Look how day glow his red is. Oh, he's fab. Carries it. And he's got his little pink face. Oh, and his yeah. little flappy beard. Look, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's so old. I love him. Hey, Jennifer Junebug Vintage. Welcome. Yes, thank you for being here, girly. Welcome to Wicked Good Vintage, where I am stabbing vintage deals, <laughs> and so is Amy. Yes, I am sweeping them all out of my house. Yes. Everything must go. All the vintage. Yes, yes. Wicked Good Times. What's funny is we named this show Wicked Good Vintage, and we're both like not wickety kind of people, but it's fun. <laughs> it's just a fun irony thing and, yeah. and it's an excuse for me to wear a costume let's be honest and then I make Sarah have to dress up too <laughs> she does. I'm like we could get finished then we can be witches every week all the time <laughs> all the time Amy yes do we have to do it this yes <laughs> I know I was like Amy are we wearing stuff this week yes yes <laughs> every week Sarah <laughs> here's my horns so I can be evil it brings joy to people. It does. It's fun. I'm all for it. It makes me feel happy too. Sars for really. I see you at 18. Thank you so much. Carrie, I think I got you at 17, but just in case. Um, yes, any excuse for a costume, which, by the way, remember when we're done here, a couple hours later, it will be me and Enamor Amy over on Instagram for our totally 80s sale. So you guys are not going to want to miss it. Amy is coming as Strawberry Shortcake. I will be Rainbow Bright. I've got 80s vibed witches for sale. I've got like, I almost have at least 10 dolls. You guys, they're all 80s vibes and it's going to be so much fun. And Amy's bringing some of her best handmade stuff as well. So be sure to pop on over. I will be Thank you. That's going to be at 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. So be there or be square, even though we know it's hip to be square. That's right. That's right. Not in this case. Sars Pirelli, I see you at 22. We're going to count this down. Looking for 23 or more. Drop your best offers or your just in cases. And here we go. And by the way, I'm super excited because I have one more handmade doll left. It's my best one of the sale. So. Be sure to stay for it. Here we go. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's right, Cindy. Be there 8 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a good one. And it's on Insta, guys. So it'll be at Amy and Amy's Shops. My two Amy's. My Amy girl. Right. All right. I see you're just in case of 30. Thank you so much, Sarsparilli. And we are looking for the bid end. 
Yeah. I'm going to have to designate a whole shelf for your uh, claims. And I'm glad because I get to enjoy them longer. I'm just saying. Yes. Yes. Yep. yep. But I am going to designate a, a shelf for you. Yes. All right. So it is yours for 22. Thank you guys all so much for your bids. And congratulations, Sarsparilli. It's back to you, Sarah. Excellent. All right, y'all. This is Lefton. And I am starting it at $15. This is the cutest froggy with his toadstool. And can we talk about the grasshopper that's on the little red toadstool? I can't even take it. It is the cutest little thing ever. And look at these flowers. Oh my gosh, just so precious. I think this would be adorable to put in a plant and look at the backside. This is one of those that you almost kind of want to display 360 because it's so flipping cute. It is left in and it's numbered. Its sticker has fallen off. But yes, Darling Left in original with the little froggy and grasshopper and toadstool. So, so sweet. Just love it. Yep, froggy is a Corton and he will ride. And his <laughs> roll dog is this grasshopper. How cute is that? I know I love it I think it's precious and even the little flowers those little bisque flowers normally when you find one of these figurines they're beat up um and his little bisque flowers are even intact so $15 for left and cutie if anyone is interested I absolutely think it's darling yes I know Amy I hadn't either I may just keep it so if anyone's interested that's okay We'll just keep moving. Where's Ramona, our frog buyer? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Up next, I have another treasure from Christopher Kyers, Christmas Corner, located here in Pasadena, California. Thank you, Cindy. Have a good day. Oh, thank you so much, Cindy. See you tonight. So this little guy is made in Japan. And he, it looks like he's doing his sit-ups. He's getting ready to start hauling all those gifts. <laughs> and he's doing he's his exercises. He, like, he can't quite touch his toes, you know. <laughs> um, I mean, he looks slim, but I mean, if you look at him, his belly is still pretty. He's still pretty wide. So he's having trouble getting down there. Uh, 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 help me, help me, help me. But yeah. So he's really cool, made in Japan, and right, Kristen? He's a knee hugger, right? Like, can you cram his little knees into where he holds them? No, mm -mm. no. Okay. he's not really a knee hugger. He's, he's attached. See, he's weird. stitched. His hands are stitched. See the little knot in his oh, wow, under his knee. Cool. His hands are stitched to his legs. We're going to call him Struggle and Sit Up Santa. <laughs> okay. Struggle and Sit Up Santa starting at $20. His, his head is plastic. It's like a squishy plastic. Cute. I've never seen him. He's really rare. Real rare. Yeah, he seems older, mm -hmm. you know. Definitely. And he's in such good shape, too. It always kind of blows my mind, like, when they have little white fluffy parts like that. That they're still white. Yes. Hi, Shadia. Drive safely. I'm glad you're yes. hanging out with us. Easier to sit in his sleigh. Yeah, he just slides right in. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to move along. If no one's interested, we will bring him back for the recap and we'll go back to you. I agree. Very cool. Love it. All right, Amy. We are just moving right along here, girl. All right. This oh, is wait, Christy's in. Sorry. You're good. Okay, Christy, I see you at 20. Every time I think, well, you know, I'll just add this to my collection. Somebody <laughs> claims it. That's okay. That's good. Because I don't need more. I don't need more. All right. Let's go. 19, 18, looking for 21 or more. Drop your best offers. Put in your just in cases. And here we go. 17, 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. I'm sure he's not a knee hugger because he has a little stitch right here. You see this little knot? His arms are attached to his knees. 
under both knees, he has a little stitch attaching him. So anyway, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for a bid end. Jackie, I see you at 20. Jackie and Lori. Looking for 21 or more. Or the bid end. And there's two bids for 20. So if you want it, you should definitely oh, throw sorry. out. Sorry, yeah, Christy was the first one. I didn't. Didn't realize it was the same yeah. amount of money. Definitely so it's whoever out. comes in first is the one who gets it. So I'm so sorry, Lori, um, but because Christy was the first one with the 20, it goes to Christy. But thank you so much. And congratulations, Christy. Thank you. He's yours. He's All right. Cool. Back to you, Sarah. I was about to say, back to you, Santa. <laughs> back to you, Sarah. <laughs> well, during December, you can just call me Sarah Claus. Okay. And my initials are SC, so I do double. I'm just saying. All right. This is my next item, and it is precious. This is a vintage Inesco kitty on a boot. And it has its original little Inesco sticker, and he's numbered. And he is in good shape. You can see both sides. Got his little brown shoelaces and everything. I would personally probably stick a bottle brush tree in him and make him like a little embellishment. But I think he's originally for toothpicks, I want to say. But you could use bobby pins. Anything small that you wanted to put in him would be perfect. He's a little bitty. So he's not very big. He's about three inches. How and much, Sarah? What, hun? How much? Ten. Sorry. Starting $10. And he is just a little cutie. Look at his little face. Oh, I love him. I want to kiss his little kitty lips. I know. He's a biscuit. And he's got that little brown um, spot on his back. Look how cute he is, guys. Lois, I see you for 10 Thank you so much. And he is a Nesco. Perfect for your collection. And FYI, there's a whole um, series of these little figurines. And they have, all of them are on a shoe. There's a doggy on a shoe, kitty on a shoe. I think there's a mouse on a shoe. And they all look like this. So you could actually, if you wanted to, collect them all. Yeah, he's pretty stinking cute. So I'm going to do a countdown. Lois is at 10. Bridges is at 12. I know. I am too. I love anytime I find vintage kitty stuff. <clears throat> Kitties and puppies are so awesome. This is a little bottom. All right. And Lois is at 13. So we're looking for 14 or more. And I'm going to start a countdown from 15, 14, 13. There's a deer on a boot, Amy. I did not know that. Now, I have never seen the deer. So if you find it, you let me know. Bridget's at 14. Thank you, Bridget. We're counting down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Thank you so much. Oh, your mom is in the top chat again. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mom, you're in the top chat. But she can't hear you yet. She's not here yet. She's That's way right. back. <laughs> yeah, she's in rural Missouri dealing with real slow internet. So I don't know. I don't know, mama. But yeah, Kitty is absolutely adorable. All right, there's my bid in. Bridget, this is going to you for 14. Thank you so much, Grace. Yay, Bridget. Yay. Okay. Second to last item. Then it's going right. to be the doll. The doll's coming up after this. Awesome. Okay, so we have this cute little vintage Santa in the chimney. And I am starting him off at $18. Whoops, what happened to my comment? That's how I accidentally banned somebody once. Like, I think <laughs> it jumps to somebody else. I accidentally, yeah, banned Camellia. Anyway, um, all right, so he's really cool. He looks really kind of old too. I love the effect of the snow on the chimney, the speckled effect. You've got some glitter around the top. He's even got snow. He's all snowy. He's been playing in the snow, Santa. 
and his oh. beard is so fluffy. I love fluffy beards. It's so fluffy. And he's got a really long hat. He's very old world. He's got a cute little bottle brush tree and a sack full of toys. He can't quite, you know, fit into this chimney, but he's going to try to use his, his magic, you know, like pixie dust and try to, I don't know, magically just shrink a little bit and go down the chimney. <laughs> so no markings. It looks like there maybe was a sticker once upon a time. Or it could be where someone put, you know, a price. I don't know. He strikes me as super old. I'll tell you that. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. He's in really good condition. I agree, Kristen. Great for a primitive or country style. If yeah. that's your Christmas decor mode, he's so good for that. I'm going to check out his, um, his little face and see what it's made out of. It seems like it's some kind of maybe clay, some kind of a soft clay. Interesting. I wonder if he's German. He kind of strikes me as maybe a little bit of a German look. Yeah, too. he could really be. Cool. Very well could be. But since I don't see any interest, that's okay. We're going to set him aside and we will go back to you, Sarah. All right. Cool beans. This is, I think, Amy, is this my last item? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. This is the cutest little brown. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry again, Sarah. Okay, don't worry about Lois, it. I see you at 18. Your sister, your sister would love him, I think you mean. Okay, so let's count him down. Thank you so much, Lois. Every time I get it in my mind, like, well, you know, I wouldn't mind having any of the Christmas left over to display this year. Oh, yeah. And then it gets claimed. So maybe it's like a magical witchy energy <laughs> I'm sending out. So let's count him down. We're looking for 19 or more. Put in a just in case, Lois, if you really would love him. Otherwise, anyone else can come in during the countdown with a just in case or a best offer. You get seen and there. they have. There's Michelle at 20. Whoa. And Kim is back. All right, Kim, we're going to let Amy just continue on with the bid ends to keep it consistent because we're down to the last item almost. Oh so God. here we go. Thank you for letting us know. And 19, 18, looking for 21 or more. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Looking for a bid end or 21 or more. He's kind of got a quick stash going on to you, Aim. He's definitely got that. He definitely I does. Appreciate. Oh my gosh. It's very long. The mustache. He's see, got a handlebar. It's very long mustache. Lois, I see you're just in case of 24. So thank you, Michelle, so much for your bid. Thank you, Lois. Congratulations. He is going to your sister for 21. Michelle, you're just in case came in after the bid in. I'm so sorry. All right. Sarah, it is officially back to you now. All right, guys, this is my last item. And it is little kitty biscuit. He has a, kind of an MCM stance. He's got some crazy eyes. I'm not sure if he's looking left or if he's looking right. But uh, he's got the little wild, wily eyes on. And I'm just starting this little dude at nine bucks. Very cute. He is made in Japan. He does not have any issues. He's right about three, not super big, about three and a half inches. And his little tail is intact, just adorable. And I think he'd be cute too with one of your Amy's Rock and Pop Shop with a put it in your Halloween display. I love little kitties like that in my Halloween display. I'm so sorry, Sarah. What did you say was the price again? At nine dollars. Okay. You are fine. So nine dollars if anybody is interested in green eyed kitty biscuit. He is super cute. He's got great markings. He's brown. He kind of reminds me of that ginger kitty marking. Yeah, he is darling. So $9 if anyone is interested. He is a figurine. He's not a shaker. So he's just ready to sit and hang out with your decor, whether it's Halloween, stick a bow on his neck for Christmas. I just need a home. Someone adopt me, please. So $9 if anybody is interested. Jenny, I see you for nine. Thanks so much. 
looking for 10 or more, and we're going to count this little dude down. All right, so here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If I can get a bid end or $10 or more. And he's so cute. Oh, cute? I love him. Yeah. And then he's in that position, you know, how the cats always like to stick their butts up and hiked up in your face. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's stretching. All Thank right. You, so Jenny, this is yours for nine, hun. Thank you so much. And yes, that is great. If you want to message me your info on Insta, I honestly love that over email, but email is fine too. So thank you, Jenny. Yay. All right, you guys, this is my last item and also uh, my last handmade doll for the sale and my favorite. So <laughs> let's, um, let me, she's going to be starting off at $75. Wow. She has pink hair. Okay. Not only is it pink hair, but look, it's got this cute little flip going on. Oh She's word. dressed in black glitter with little flecks of colored glitter and glow in the dark stars. Wow. She has a cute little plastic poodle. Oh, I added cool. um, little rhinestone eyes to the poodle. It's hard. I guess it doesn't read the best on the screen. Let's see if I can hold something behind it. Let's see if that helps. There we go. Oh, look at the <laughs> Cute little poodle. And she has a bottle brush tree. Mm -hmm. I added the little pink pearls to match her buttons as ornaments on the tree. I got the tree from Chris Kyers as well. She is handmade one of a kind with the vintage doll head. She has her handmade witch's hat. She's trimmed in silver tinsel and also in this purple, really pretty purple material. Um, she does have a fleck of purple in her eyes. That's why I matched it up that way. But wait, there's more. Her tree lights up. You guys, she's amazing. Oh, Amy, you outdid yourself on the trees, girl. I love it. Thank Beautiful. you. Beautiful. So the lights are clear on this one. And it comes with a little switch. You can change the batteries out. So you should, it should hopefully always work. So you can turn it off. It's a cream colored, nice cream colored tree, which I just think matches up with her face and her hair just perfectly. Daytime, and then it might turn on her little tree. Aww. And then when you turn the tree off, her stars are going to glow on her outfit. Because her, they're glow in the dark stars. Oh yeah. my gosh. See all the little stars. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but yeah, there's one right there. So she's super, super rare and special because of her and head. Pink hair, you guys, these heads. Well, Amy, you know how hard it is to find one with pink hair. Like, oh my God. This is the only one I've ever found with pink hair. And actually it was found for me from the Stray Cat Thrift. Nice. The manager at Stray Cat Thrift found it for me. So the next time I went there to pick, she's like, I got something for you. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Yeah. So yeah. Gorgeous. And I added the little rhinestone eye, uh, eye highlights to her as well. And I guess we're going to count her down. Molly's at 75. Molly, you might want to put in a just in case. Anyone else can come in during the countdown with a just in case or a best offer. And we're going to start that countdown. Do it now, you guys. Otherwise, it will come in after the bid end. So here we go. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. I forgot to measure her. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. From her base to the tip of her hat, she is about 15 and a half inches tall. Christmas Oh, I love her. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, she's spectacular. That pink hair. Wow. 
so good. All right. We are just looking for our bid end. We're at 75 with Molly and there is the bid end. So congratulations, Molly. She is yours. She's only my second doll with a lighted tree. The first one went to Michael as a gift. So congratulations, Molly. And that is a wrap. Do that you have a recap for us, Sarah? I do. I do. Got a quickie pie recap. So if you just got here and you did not see everything in the beginning, don't worry because I have some fun things left. This is a vintage ceramic piggy and he is $12. If you would like to claim him on the recap, if you would just write piggy $12, that way I know what you're claiming. So this little ceramic piggy bank does not have a stopper. FYI, very cute, has little bank and he is ready to go home. All right, so 12 for him. And then I had this adorable planter, not vintage, but really cute and anthropomorphic for 15. If anybody was interested in her, perfect for a plant. She is a little pedestal cup. You could drink out of her if you wanted to. Nope, never mind. I lied. It says not for food use. Don't drink out of her. No. Do you see your claim on the pig? Lois, let me put you down for the piggy. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. No, I had not. Of course. All right. And then my next item for the recap that I have available is this little guy for $10. If anybody's interested in this little vintage pumpkin mug, he did come with a set of others. He's Royal Norfolk and he's real cute. So 10 bucks. If anybody's interested in him. And do, 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 I had this precious left wing froggy with this little grasshopper babe for $15. It is left in. If anybody's interested, I am fine with keeping it. If not, so cute, no issues. And then last but not least, I had this Hazel Atlas jam bar for $20. Okay. So, yes, Hazel Atlas Jam Jar for 20 If anybody's interested, it's in great shape. No funkiness or issues. Okay. And that is my recap. Everything else sold. So, thank you okay. guys for one sale. All right. So, Lois, um, yes, yeah, send your sister's address so that I can um, charge you the separate shipping to ship to her. Because I'm assuming the other items that you bought from me, I'm just seeing how many, the other couple of items you probably want shipped to yourself, but just clarify that. And Lois, I'm noting in the piggy bank that it's going to go to sister. And then the Santas, I'm assuming, are Amy's. Um, and Lois, if you'll just send me that info so I can get you invoiced and get her info and everything. And we'll make sure we've got shipping right on that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, great. And then for my recap, I just had a couple items. So I have this little musical plastic figurine from 1974. Precious. And um, I had that for, I think, $15. So if anyone's interested in this, $15. And then I had the litho of the elf girl for $30. It is on shipboard. It is ready to hang. That'd be fun for a Lord of the Rings person too. Oh, like, yeah. I feel like she's got a wizard vibe going on. Definitely. She's got her parrot and she is really cool. So if anyone is watching on the recap and you see something that was not claimed and you're interested, just go ahead and mention it in the comments and see if it's still available. All right. So thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Sarah and I greatly appreciate your support. If you're not already subscribed to our channels, please subscribe. It's super fast, super easy, and it really helps us a lot. The other thing you can do to help us that is totally free for you is give this video a like. The more likes we get, the more people it will reach um, because of the algorithms. It pushes it through. The more people that show interest, they're like, oh, people like this video. Let's show it to more people. So it helps us to grow our channels, and we greatly appreciate you guys for that. So just give it a thumbs up. Um, and then let's talk about our upcoming sales, Sarah. 
Okie dokie. So um, tomorrow I will be on Instagram with my husband, Junk Drunk Man Teaks. And David and I are cleaning out the stuff. So what we're going to do is a clearance. <clears throat> and it's all going to be straight claims. There will be no bidding. And we're clearing out the garage, basically. So if you want some good deals, you're looking for some Christmas presents, you're wanting good deals for yourself, come hang out with David and I tomorrow night on Instagram at, I don't remember what time, but you'll see <laughs> p.m. Eastern, David just said. So, um, and then I do have another sale on Saturday with Basky House Vintage, Vintage Freak 32 and Skeleton Keys in the Closet. That will also be on Instagram. That's a four-way sale. We ended up consolidating between the four of us so we can share the time slot and have fun. So um, that's the plan for Friday. And then Amy and I will see you back here next week, possibly on my channel, possibly not. I don't know. We'll figure Actually, it out. next week it will be here on my channel and you will not be present because you had a um, prior engagement. That's right. I will I will be here. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Amy knows my schedule better than me at this point. Thank you. I will be here with Kristen from Basky House Vintage along with her daughter, Lily. If you guys saw our show on Instagram, it is adorable. We will all be the witch sisters and it is so much fun. We do fun, dramatic play with Lily and it's just so magical. So be sure to tune in for that and catch that. Um, but in a couple of hours, I will be live on Instagram today with Enamor Amy. We're doing our 80s girl sale and let's see, see all of this behind me right here. All of that goodness is coming to my sale tonight. I've got 80s inspired pieces. I've got 80s inspired witches and fun day glow 80s colors. I've got a strawberry shortcake inspired doll, a rainbow bright inspired doll, a gremlins inspired doll. So be sure to come and check it out. Amy is bringing her best handmade and vintage as well. That is going to be 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. And then on Saturday, one hour before Sarah's sale, I will be live with... Um, Kawaii Kitschy Butterfly. Um, Stacy. Stacy. Yeah, sorry. I'm blanking out. I need to eat. Um, <laughs> it'll be her second live sale ever. She's going live on Friday with Darling Do Overs, and then I get to be second place. That's okay. Um, and we're going to do a quick, probably 10 item sale. Try to pack it in before you guys tune in to the big epic combined sale with Sarah and all the epic sellers. So be sure to tune in for that on Instagram. It'll be at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Yes. And that's it. So I'll be back here. I will be invoicing for uh, today's sale with Amy. I'll actually be invoicing on Friday because I do have my sale tomorrow night and I would like to combine shipping for you if you come to my clearance sale. So just let me know if you purchase something today and you purchase something tomorrow night. We will combine shipping. And of course, I always combine shipping with my husband who is Junk Drunk Mantiques. Quick plug, I am the Vintage Shop Coach. So if you think this is something that you would like to do, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube, hit me up. That's what I do. I coach people to success, and I take a lot of pride in that, and I love working with you guys and watching you reach your goals in vintage selling as well. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. We can uh, start from wherever you are. Perfect. And Sarah helped me. I signed up for her coaching when I first started as well, so it was very helpful, and I highly recommend. So. With that being said, you guys, it is hump day. You're almost to Friday. Tomorrow will be one more day till Friday, so you're almost there. So hang in there, guys. We're almost to the weekend. Uh, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting us. And we will see you guys very soon. Take no care. Peace, love, and finish, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.